I've tried filming this video two times now and it's not going well. I feel like I talk too much. I mean, it's not too much because I'm just explaining, at least trying to explain everything, but a lot has happened. And in all honesty, I just don't want to edit that. I really don't like making serious videos at least not serious videos like the state of this YouTube channel. And I also was trying to mix it with a Q and A that I said I was gonna do like two months ago, but I didn't because I got really busy with school and also YouTube was being a jerk and da 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 da. And it felt weird mixing a fun Q and A with something that could be seen as kind of sad for some people. I don't know, maybe I'm miscalculating how much people care about my content, but you never know. People, some people told me that they're my favorite YouTuber, which. I feel like my brain like doesn't truly accept if I'm being totally honest, but you know, there's a chance they're telling the truth. I'm not gonna lie, um, it's been a while since I've uploaded an actual video. I've done live streams and I've been very active on Instagram, but uploading videos, my last one, yeah. And I honestly, the first week or so after uploading that, I was a little concerned that some people would think I was taking a break because I was getting bullied in the comment section. And I already made a community post kind of touching on this, but I genuinely could not care less about the people in the comments being not so nice to me and also how people were talking to me in co-op. If I actually cared and was actually crying myself to sleep over it, I probably wouldn't have posted that video. As much as I've also like been busy with school, it's currently finals week, I should probably be studying, but I wanted to make this video for a couple of days now and I really just want to get it out of my system, if I'm being totally honest. Another reason is I was kicked out of the YouTube Partner Program again <laughs> e so for those who don't know in july i think i was kicked out of the partner program for the first time this year and they made me wait 90 days before i could reapply and i waited the 90 days i deleted a bunch of videos that i really liked but according to youtube like I was like using other people's content to a degree where they're like, you can't make money off of any of your videos, regardless of the fact that a majority of my videos are literally completely original and mine. That doesn't matter. I can't make money off anything anymore. So whatever. Um, I've downloaded some that I was just like, I want to at least have for myself. And I think they're in my Google Drive somewhere. I did not like name them properly. So good luck future me trying to find any of them. There's a lot going on on my drive, let's just say that. But not even two months after being reinstated, I was removed again for the exact same reason. Oh goody. So for those who don't know, when YouTube kicks you out of the YPP, as it's called, that's such a silly little name, you have a chance to appeal if you think that they've made a mistake. And both times I've been kicked out, I've made appeals. And both times they have told me that my appeals did not represent my entire channel. I was rejected both times and I'm being totally honest and perchance a little dramatic. Uh, I just felt hopeless about this channel, full stop, just really hopeless. Um, I've tried to ask for specific examples of what they are flagging, what they are seeing done by me. That is making their systems go, no more dinero for you. But when you get kicked out, you're talking to a robot, not a person. And you don't even have the option to talk to a person. Like I don't have, to, I don't get to be on a wait list. If you go to the YouTube help center and talk to an actual person, there's no contact they can give you to. Nothing, nothing at all. And it just sucks because I already deleted so many things. YouTube told me I was okay. And basically a month and a half later, I was kicked out again for the exact same thing. When I know for a fact my new uploads were not doing the thing, they kicked me out for the first time because I read their stupid TOS and I made sure to specifically not do that. I don't even like cross upload between social medias anymore because they're like, if you promote other people's social media, that can get you in trouble for some stupid reason. And it's like, listen, the names are different, but Poopa Kent's on Instagram and Twitter is still me. Like I'm not promoting another person's Instagram. That's me. My Instagram is literally linked in my YouTube bio. Like this entire thing is just really stupid. And they wouldn't even address that. I just said, you didn't represent your channel, go die. So, that's frustrating. If you couldn't tell by my tone of me getting really heated. <laughs> it's like if you're a long time viewer, you might've noticed like I don't post as much anymore. Like in the last six -ish month, six-ish months, I don't make the same content that I used to. And that's just because like I, it doesn't, 
not even like I, I think I said this before was like it like I didn't feel right uploading to YouTube when it's like I can't get any compensation off anything that I make while they are profiting off of it. I don't even think it's necessarily that, but it's just like if I'm getting punished for breaking these rules that are like really vague and they refuse to like actually specifically define for me or give me concrete examples of me specifically doing it like next is gonna be like a copyright strike for breathing and like i know that's like a not logical train of thought right but i can't help it because i get in trouble for nothing and they're weird and they're wishy-washy about when they enforce rules or not i think it's stupider to let larger channels get away with things but smaller channels they can't even breathe and you're not even telling us what we're doing wrong like that's really frustrating for me but you know i'm biased because my doubloons were taken oh yeah speaking of doubloons i didn't mention this the first you know few months where i was talking about my initial kick mint my initial kick from the program but at least i said i lost money i didn't say um how much was taken from me but they say that when you get kicked out of the youtube partner program because your content is no longer eligible for monetization they refund the money back to the advertiser and I'm so sorry, putting on my tinfoil hat, I do not believe that for a second. Because if that's the case, you're telling me every single time you cop little small YouTube channels that were monetized, you just give the advertiser back the money for ads that have already played, aka they already got promo, aka free ads. Yeah, I don't believe that. YouTube could literally show me proof and I wouldn't believe them. I live in America. Businesses are known for being sicky and gross and poopy, stinky, yucky. I don't believe them. Don't care. In total, at least the numbers I've seen personally, out of the money that I earned in those periods where I've been on and off their thingy with booper, I lost over $500. They took away over $500 from me. And that's not even considering how much money my videos made could have made right could have made in the three months that i was not getting any analytics for my income from those videos so for being realistic it could easily be like six to seven hundred dollars at this point that i don't get which sucks like i didn't bring up numerics the first time because it, like, it just seemed kind of irrelevant and it, it wasn't a small sum like i told my mom and she was full-on american mode we got to sue them and i was like i promise you it would cost more to get a lawyer than any money I would get back from YouTube. And I'm sure they do their typical American capitalism voodoo magic and we'd lose. So like, there's no point. I genuinely don't really care to fight it, but I am pissed off enough to, you know, say it in front of you. It does make me sad that money plays a part in all this now because I feel like the fact that I'm like kind of aware of how much money I was making and how I was able to fund so many of my hobbies and stuff like that avenue of income is gone. I tried to find a job during the summer that would be more consistent because I was pretty aware of the fact that YouTube would not be viable for the rest of my life. It's very inconsistent. It's not very trustworthy. And no one responded to me. And the few places that I tried to be proactive and called them about my application, they would, every time I was like, oh, we already filled the role, which is like, why do you have a help wanted ad if you're not hiring, but whatever, right? So I've just been a full-time student and also because I had so many classes, I didn't even have commissions open. So that wasn't even like an avenue for me. Same with shelf plug in this really downer video, but my commissions are opening next week. Hopefully if everything goes well. So you can follow my Instagram and keep an update on my commission status if that's something you're interested in. So yippee. This, this channel, this channel is kind of a, not totally dead to me because there are certain videos that I do want to make. And I'm sure I'll get other ideas that I feel like would be good for this channel. So they'll probably just go up on here. But when it comes to like trying to consistently upload to like, I don't know, for whatever reason I was doing it before, um, that's not happening. I'm no more, like I never really uploaded consistently. I always posted whenever I felt like it. But you know, it took me to be like, you know, at least once or twice a week. And now it's like, lucky if I put something out every three weeks now a month ha huh? but I've kind of felt this way about other social medias that I've used specifically Instagram and what I typically did when I would just kind of feel eh about my Instagram account 
was I'd make a new one. And that's how I have my current Instagram account, at Poopapex. Yippee. Um, and I've honestly wanted to do it with this YouTube channel for a while, for a long while, and I just never did it. But I feel like the last month or so has definitely been a push in, like, I think I'm just done in this regard. So... I'm sad to say that there are some videos that when I came back from my last breakish thing that I said I would make, for example, Trista Wonderland Among Us Part 2, um, continuing the Adventures of Trista Wonderland series, among other things that I can't think of right off the top of my head. But if I'm being totally honest, like any sort of enthusiasm or passion I had for making those videos is currently dead. So I just want to come and say it right here, right now. Like those are most likely not happening. So yeah, it extra sucks because I literally have the scripts pretty much made. I have the ideas in my head, a full on storyline, but I just can't really get myself to make them. I've tried so many times to like just try, like just sit down and be like, dude, like it's fun. And I love seeing my things created, but my ideas created. But I just, I'm not passionate about it anymore. I'm not passionate about that kind of content very much anymore. And it's really time consuming. And it feels like there's no real reward back. And it's like, yeah, I like when people enjoy my things. I love the comments. I love the engagement. But that, I don't know. I don't know. So to hopefully help with these feelings, right? I thought, well, you know, maybe if I had another avenue of income so I could like still fund my little silly side hobbies by making content, I considered making a Patreon, which I do want to make one day. But I just, I, I just, I don't feel like I'm ready for that step in my quote unquote career, if you will, on the internet. A lot of the rewards I wanted to do, it's like a pretty big commitment. And I feel like once I like try to put things on paper and it's okay, every month I have to do this, 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 and this, I get too stressed out. And what if I don't meet the deadline? And then what if certain months people don't like the rewards or they don't like the things? And like my ideas for it, I just feel like, I don't know, man, I don't know. I've always wanted to have a Patreon for my art, but I don't think my art's necessarily at a place that would warrant a Patreon and also on top of it, I show off my art for free so it feels weird to put it behind a paywall. And I've had people tell me that like if I had YouTube memberships or I had a Patreon, like they would just support me just to support me because they really like my content. But I still just feel like with how Patreon is, I just personally wouldn't feel right just doing that. Um, but for people who do want to support me just to support me, I do have a coffee, a Kofi, whatever that's called. I'm op like I mentioned before, I'm opening commission soon. So if you want like a little pretty thing you can look at, you can go there. I hope to one day, hopefully, maybe possibly within the next few years, open an online shark shark. Oh my gosh. Shop with my art. Help me. But like I said, like, that's like in the future. And I just don't really like step dipping my foot into certain avenues without being like certain or having more confidence. And I always imagined that like I would do my shop when I had a consistent job so that I could kind of fund the creation of the merch. And then if I, if people, if I could sell it, that's just cool. Like I honestly feel like I want to shop more just so people can own my things because I think they're nice, right? I think they're nice and maybe possibly make some profit. Like I don't know, but I need... A job to do that and I honestly feel like this hurt even harder because I finally was like you know what I'm gonna start like setting aside income so I can open my shop but because like there's a lot of things that at least for me personally I would like to invest in before opening that can of worms and I finally had the resolve and I swear like a week later I got that first email and even when I was like brought back into the program my brain was like I could get kicked out any day again and it happened. So that sucks. Jeez. Uh, 
But yeah, that. So maybe one day, if you follow my Instagram and you like keep tabs on me, hopefully that'll open up one day and people can have that option too. Hmm. And yeah, like I do other things like here and there. Like I've had like small little bursts of instances where like under specific things people can buy for me like those charms i've made like my friend oh wait that's it that's a video for a different channel oh my gosh i spoiled i spoiled the thing but um on instagram there are various ways you can support me i currently have i have like a soft not nest even a shop but it's just i currently have um something that people can buy it's physical you can get a print of my art with some stipulations if you will um link in description to my instagram if you wanted to see my account and see what i'm talking about like i really don't feel like getting into it because then that like ages it and dates the post and yada 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 but to kind of combat my feelings hopefully i'm getting back on track but uh i uh it's gonna be back on track on the, in like the headspace of just creating content i made a new youtube channel and it's gonna be for art and my hobbies. Content that doesn't necessarily do the best on this channel, which is another reason I wanted to make that one for a while, but I was really scared that if I made a second channel, I would end up neglecting one or the other, and I didn't wanna do that, but I'm already neglecting this one, so why not just make a channel dedicated to the things that actually spark joy in my life? There's a video up there right now. You can watch it right this second. Well, maybe finish. Well, actually, you don't have to finish it. I, I don't really care. But you can watch it right now. It's live. It's me talking about all of my self-indulgent merch that I use some of my adult money to get. Yay! <laughs> but, yeah, I have that channel. And for the first time in months, I actually enjoyed making a video. There was, like, no pressure. There was no stress of, like, oh, will this do good in the algorithm? I'm not in the algorithm. The channel's existed for like three hours. Life is great. It has a pretty little pink banner. I love it here. So I have that video up and I have a couple of videos planned for that channel. When I inevitably finish my current sketchbook, I hope to do a sketchbook tour in there. I have an idea that I can't post until after December 16th because it's a gift for a friend and I'm giving it to her then. And I don't want to risk her getting spoiled because as much as I can just tell her, don't go to this channel. She'd be a little nosy. I'd be a little nosy. I wouldn't trust myself either. So I'm gonna just, no, no chance of ruining surprise for the bestie. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to like make my little hobby videos on there, talk about things I like and things like that. This channel isn't dead. I still have videos that I actually am excited about creating, but some of them I can't decide if I'm gonna put it on here or the other channel. Um, someone asked me if I would do a manga collection video and I feel like that'd be like more this channel thing but also it is technically a hobby so it might go on that channel. I'll figure it out later. You know what if you want leave in the comments if you'd rather have the manga collection here or on the other one and then I might inevitably ignore all of you and do whatever I want. I do know I want to make an art book collection video and that's definitely going on the other channel because that is like art art and even though I mostly collect manga for the art of it all, also like some there's overlap between here, right? So I don't know. I'll decide later. Glad I got that out of my system. Oh my gosh. Like that feels, it feels very yas and very slay. But that's that. Um, thank you for watching. This was a long one. Wasn't very fun. And I don't know when I will upload again. I've honestly like there's been a lot of changes in my personal life. I took classes in person for the first time in a billion years. I made friends who not only like like me but also like me enough to invite me to go outside and hang out sometimes which I haven't done during the school year in a long time. Most of my friends literally move hours away or across the country because a lot of us decided to pursue higher education. Boo! But I only get to see them a couple months out of the year. And now I have people who live close by. Granted, some of them do want to move. Stinky, boo, don't do that. But for now, we can hang out. And I think that's fun and it's nice. And I spend a lot of time doing that. And 
doing art and making things for myself, not for the internet, just me, myself, and I. Reading books, oh my gosh, I read books now. Um, so that's, it's great. In my real life, when I don't think about YouTube, I've been really, really well. I honestly thought I was fine being alone, which I do think I was fine, but even my parents are like, I seem happier consistently. And I feel like most of my time is spent doing things that I love. And that's great. Not that I don't love making YouTube videos to an extent, right? I, I hope I made that clear. I do enjoy it. But it's just certain ones where it's just like, that I just don't think that's necessarily me anymore. Like, obviously, it's still me in my little head, but not to actually manifest, at least not right now. Um, but I don't want to get people's hopes up. So just pretend that I said never, it's never happening. So yeah, that's this video. Once again, thank you for listening. And if you want to keep tabs on me, I have my new channel. I have my Instagram. That's where I'm most active. And yeah, that's that. Bye.